Ooh. What have I got? <gasps> Guishang! Yeah! This is cool. I want an actual Guishang. Hello and welcome to this Let's Play of Shemu 3. We've been through Shemu 1, we've been through Shemu 2. So we are now on Shemu 3 and I'm very excited to play this Let's Play because I've only got maybe two thirds of the way through this game. So I haven't actually completed it. So I don't really know the story. Oh, there's like a, we just want to get on to it. I'm sure that's just, from a distant land in the east. Oh. From across the sea. The updates are like amazing. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. He does not. The strength that would destroy him. It will. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. It will. <sighs> it's just the ready, upgrade. He shall seek me out. From basic port to the rocky path. This. I shall wait. Look how pretty Shemwar is. My destiny since ancient times. Oh, we get to have a look around Bailey Village. I've been thinking about this all week, to be honest. <laughs> and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. And I just wanted to play this. Shall descend from above. I don't have much time to play today, but a purple wind. I will play as much as I can. In the midst of the pitch black <gasps> night, Lundi. a morning star shall glisten. Alone. Huh. That sounds nice. That this is basically just the trailer, so <laughs> to buckle up for what we're about to get ourselves into is Shemu three. La 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 la. Okay. Hype. Let's go. Any button. So yeah, I've got like an actual load game. Where does it take me? Was it actually gonna load from somewhere? Uh... Yeah, see the last time I played this was... 2020, so... I played this a while ago. So we're just gonna go new game. I'm ignoring everything I had before. I'm just gonna go from the start. Choose a game mode. Story mode. Recommended mode. Challenge mode. Nightmare mode. Why would you do Shemu in nightmare mode? Understand story mode because, I mean, you don't. There's some fights that I found difficult. Challenge mode sounds stupid. I didn't even realize there were modes in this. We're just gonna go normal mode because, I just make sure I press the right button. Go normal mode because it's the recommended mode. And I didn't have too much trouble with the last games. So I'm sure I won't have too much trouble now saying that. Who knows? I don't always have the best trust in myself. I'm a bit crappy at, si at, at times. Can't even speak English, so this does not help our situation. Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of Look how pretty is this is. Go with the one who holds the phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. The proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. Yeah. But end of update. I give you the family treasure, <laughs> the sword of seven stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. Thank you, Shenhua. Shenhua's father, Mr. Shenhua. What's Shenhua's last name? Sure someone will tell me. Tell me in the comments if you know what Shenhua's last name is, because... Who knows? Right. Right. We did this in the other episode! And then we're gonna shove the sword in and then... Just like updated graphics from... My last episode of Shenmue 2. If you'd watched that last week, do let me know. I really hope we get a Shemu 4. I haven't even completed Shemu 3 and I'm like, mm, we want Shemu 4. 
hundred percent what Chimney for. What is this? What is it? Huh? Is it the same voice actor for Rio in all the games? Shenhua sounds very similar. Is Rio the same voice actor? He doesn't so sound like it. I must have a look. Future D, look that up. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. Oh, she's gonna say it again. He does not know of the strength. We've already heard this already. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. Get rocky path, dicked. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. That's just a typical winter in the UK. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. That's just a typical winter in the UK. Black night. A morning star shall glisten. Alone. I'm a morning star. I'll be glistening. <laughs> what is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. Since long the ago. Holds the phoenix. As you know, I haven't played this for almost two years now. So it's kind of new to me. Newer than the first and second game because I kind of remember a lot of the first and second game because I played it a few times. I've only played these parts once. I've only done it once, two years ago. And so I know some bits, I remember some bits. I don't remember all of the bits. I know that there is a good sleazy way to get money if you like save strats. Um, uh, I know there is training involved, you've got like skills and things. And I know the fights are a bit ridiculous, so... Village. We shall just all explore it together. If you've got any tips, again, leave them down in the comments. About my father there. Let's go. Otherwise, let's get on to this together. Sure. If I remember correctly, it's still a lot of walking simulator. Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Okay. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. I really love how they kept the Does awkward conversation. With my the jest. Yeah. Has strange pauses in it. Without telling you? No, never. I see. I don't know if they did that on purpose. <laughs> Are you certain that letter from the cave was? It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? I also love how he's still Robot Rio. Shenhua? Robot Rio. Know. Honestly, Speaks I don't care like this. about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. He wants to find his father too. Oh wait, he's dead! Come back here, Shenhua. <gasps> Notebook! That is very small writing. Uh, can you only do that? There's telephone numbers. There's a map. Telephone numbers. Uh, reach Langshuan. Met Shenhua, a strange girl on the trail towards Bailu village. She lives in Bailu and showed me the way to the village. Has nice little pictures. I like this. They've got nice and nice little pictures going on. Um, found a large dragon of phoenix carved into stone at Shemwa's father's workspace. The key to the mystery is in Bailu village. Miss Yuan left and note and disappeared. Look for Mr. Yuan. Go to Bailu village square with Shemwa. Cool. Let's go. Oh, the music. I forgot about it. Uh, this music 
gets in your head. The background music really gets in your head after a while. I'm very sorry. It really does. <laughs> So pretty. They put in these shots on purpose, they must have, like just pretty shots. But they can see it's Shenhua. Hello, Liu. Shenhua, who's this? This is Lil. He saved me from drowning in the river. That's nice. Oh god, I've started it again. <laughs> okay. Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh. oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Landy. Keep moving. <laughs> Let's not worry about these thugs that have just murdered people. It's the Chiyu men. They're after people, you know. Hey, Shenhua. Hey, Shenhua. Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? It's got thugs. Because they said some thugs came by. Thuggy thug thugs. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Mm. Even for you? Yeah. Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. Very boring. Different somehow. I can imagine. Because thugs just Let's came and destroyed it. For some clues. Let's find Let's some go. clues. <laughs> Sorry, Skinny. Oh no, she's fast that asleep. She doesn't bridge. care. Indeed, that's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes, it's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the she's fast asleep? Up ahead. Yes. Everyone yes. lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. I love the repeating of dialogue. Another second. <laughs> Stop wasting another second. Oh, do a loop. Uh, men stood guard at the bridge. Something appeared in the village. I'm gonna have to move my camera. That's better. Two men stood guard at the bridge. Thugs appeared in the village. Okay. So, camera should be fine up here. I don't think anything goes this way. I want to look around. Look at Rio. I really want one of these leather jackets. That'd be like the perfect bit of merchandise. So, Shemar, I'm coming. Oh, the music started again. Hope it's not too loud. I didn't check those settings. I guess I'll find out soon. Village Square. It's pretty. I can do that. I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Leo. I'll try another settlement. Okay, Shemwa. Who are you gonna talk to? Shemwa left the village square without me. Ask the villagers about Yuan. Can we ask Chubbs? Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? <laughs> oh, nothing. That doesn't make Fear sense. Not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before I'm... a Chun Tai cheer master. I'm gonna beat him up. Um, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good, Do thanks. I like know anything about that. Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do. You need clothes that fit you, sir. Some of the 
the village square was teaching the children Tai Chi. He was. This guy, he seems to know what he's doing. I need help with something. What do you want? Rude! I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. That's not an answer to the question. House over there, but that was a while ago. <laughs> Why does the text okay, just not make thanks. sense? I I know that it was like um it's from Japanese, but still Ugh, someone's gotta check the English. Huh? What is it? I swear I'm not gonna rob you. There's something I want to ask. Huh? What is it? Don't get all cozy with me. Uh, okay. There's something I want to ask. What do you want? Don't get all cozy with me. I'm gonna go into your house. You. Yeah, I'm going into your house. Crazy woman. I'm just gonna go in. Can we just go in? Hello? Uh, it seems nobody's home. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because she's standing outside. Is there someone at home here? Is anyone there? Uh, I guess nobody's home. So no one actually came this way. The little punk down there was lying to me. Let's kick his ass. Let's talk to the person at the well. Hey, well person. Excuse me. What is it? She so sounds friendly. Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Joe next door. But Joe is likely working right now. Maybe Joe's daughter Lean knows where he is. I see. Go ask Lin. This house? Hello? Is anyone there? I'd like to tell you about our Lord and Savior. Looks like no one's home. <laughs> People keep pointing, and I'm like, I don't know where you're pointing to. That old man looks like he'll be helpful. There's something I want to ask. <laughs> Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Where did you come from, young man? Why is he not looking in your eyes? What? He's just looking into your crotch. There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. I wonder what's going to show up next. Yeah. Yeah, helpful man. Ooh, capsules! Do we have money? I'll give it a try. Yeah. Oh crap, maybe this isn't the right place right oh well. Do we want this or do we want Do we want fish? Or do we want Shem yeah, we want Shemu stuff. 100% I want Shemu stuff. Ooh. Ooh. What have I got? <gasps> Guishang! Yeah! This is cool. I want an actual Guishang. Should we go? Nah, that's it. We'll just have one. We've had our fun. Who's singing? Over there. Oh, it's a cutscene, so, you know. Hello? Ni hao? Hmm. I was about to say konnichiwa then, but we're in... Hello? She looks like she's having a great time. Hello? Pardon me. She's just gonna keep whacking that thing. Is it hay? Is, she, is it like for thatched roofs? I don't know what her occupation is. Rude! <laughs> she won't even talk to us. Eat. Turn around and see. Uh, there was a strange old lady in a house near the bell tower. It's not very really nice calling her a strange old lady. Okay. Can I get talk to her? She's just gonna ignore me. She's 
he's just gonna ignore me. <laughs> that was the rude guy. Oh, I don't want to talk to the rude guy. Screw you, Ming Yang. Hey. And who might you be? You're not a face I recognize. I like her voice. I love grandma voice. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm sorry, dear, but could you save that for later? Nope, that's why I'm here. No place for idle chit chat. Okay. Why does no one want to tell me about Did Mr. Yuan? Do you know Mr. Yuan? Sorry, dear, but I've got my hands full. I have to get ready. Sorry oh. to bother you. What's this? I want it. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here. Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize that was like an exit. I like pointed up this way. Is there anyone in and at the moment? Is anyone there? No. Uh, I guess nobody's home. How's it? Conf How am I lost about what to do already? Oh, what is this? Pretty. I like the dinosaur. <laughs> Why is he bent over like that? Yeah. There you go. That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenwa tells me that. Too. She's so cute. You know Look at her hair. So adorable. She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she didn't talk to strangers. Say, do you know Mr. Yun? Why she sat like that? He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? Like my daddy. Dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? So cute. Uh -huh. He comes home at seven at night. Huh. He does. Got some nice stones okay. there. Thanks. Okay. Uh -huh. No problem. And if I was Lundy, your dad would almost be dead by now. <laughs> You've just told me all the information I need. What? What is that? What's it wanting me to do? Oh, like help! I don't, I don't, I don't need help. I, I, no, I didn't need help. Oh, okay, we're just gonna carry on doing this anyway. Cool, cool game. Cool. Don't worry. Let's go. I assume that was Lynn. Pardon me. Who's there? <laughs> Who does he look like? He looks like someone. Like a, a famous actor, and I can't think of who it is. He's my friend, Daddy. You should really watch who your daughter is friends well, with. Get to it. I haven't seen you in around. If you know anything, I'd... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never <laughs> seen before showed up and wrecked my place. <laughs> thugs, huh? Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Nah. Why stonemasons? We hate stonemasons. Yeah, oh. Looking for something. What did they look like? No, well, they weren't from around here. That's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too. 
I don't know. Yurin was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. I think that little girl should be it's listening to this. Something to do with that too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. Bye bye, Lin. You're cute. I hope nothing bad happens to you. But now, so dark. It has. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. You probably should. Well, like an auto back, whatever. Uh, thugs act like they own the village. Maybe they have something to do with Yuan being gone. Go back and tell Shenhua. Oh, uh, met Lin, a girl who was drawing pictures in the village square. Her father, her father, her father is a stonemason. Gets home at night. Visit Lin's house at 7pm. Talk to Mr. Zhao, Lin's father, at the residence. The uninvited thugs roughed through, roughed, I can't actually read what that word says. Uh, I'm going to go rough through the house. Uh, their intentions remain unknown. Then we'll go go see Shemwa. Cool. What is that button? Oh, is it like a fast travel? Wee! I've moved bots again! <laughs> we'll go here from now, I think. <laughs> we'll actually be able to see what's going on, maybe? I don't know. It's a goat! No, sorry, is it a deer? White deer. I thought it was a goat before and I think it's a deer. Not With horns? No, it's a goat. I don't know. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father, then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. But it is your speciality. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? What? Stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know. Maybe they're hot. <laughs> All right then. We'll go together. Good. Good. Let's do it. Uh, the thugs act like they're in a vi We did that, blah blah blah. Go back, tell Shemwa. Ask the villagers more about the thugs. Ask around with Shemwa. Cool. But for now, is this my bedroom or is that her bedroom? I think this could be Shemwa's bedroom. Oh no, it's my bedroom. Do a savey save. We do like a good savey save. Let me savey save I did before. <laughs> Look, I'm like zero tokens to load of tokens. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just gotta save over. And we're gonna do a sleepy sleep. I've been sleeping in denim. I'm in denim pajamas. I know he doesn't even have pajamas, but he's always in the same clothes. It's kind of disgusting, if you ask me. The next day. Ah, nice and rested. Yes, we know we're going to ask about the thugs. And just, can we have a, like, a closer look at these things? He looks happy. Lots of stone things here. Though I assume you'd expect it from a stonemason's house. Can I have breakfast? Shemwa. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? I did. Yeah. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to end this episode here. So in the next day, we're going to go ask about some thugs. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.